What's this? Okay. Thing is, guys, you may think that we're not actually finishing these cars. These cars all get finished eventually. But John Sisney's been over helping from Rusty Dreams. He's been, uh, he's the one that wanted to take on doing the Chevelle. And I don't even know if I showed you guys what I did to it. So I wanted this cage. Whoop. Got a door panel hanging loose right there. Oh, oh boy, boy, boy. Guess they didn't get the clips in it yet. Car is really, really close. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I took all the steel, the panels in the car, and I wrapped them. And then I drilled and tapped the frame and put these little cute button head screws in it. But this car is really, really close. Put the carpet in, I redid the tunnel. Then John came over and he's been tracing some of the wiring out, moving some stuff around so it's more accessible so we could go do drag week with this car or actually Rocky Mountain Race Week. Whoop. I'm gonna leave that door open for the time being. But, oh, damn, we don't have the wing on it. Let's see what's going on in here. Well, that takes two hands, and I, that means I got to turn loose of the phone to do it. So, she's got some scuffs and, oh, that's some overspray or something on it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I told John the other day, time's are coming. We got to get her knocked out. So, he's going to come over in the next few days. He's also doing the work on the Joe Gibbs truck because I got Chris loaded up. And we'll go on to Chris's projects here in a minute. I thought it was crazy when I put those on there, but that's not actually... I am seriously thinking about running this car in small tire. I have to call my, call my girl at Race Star and get a set of short backspace wheels, but I am seriously, seriously thinking about running the car on small tires. 756 six-stage nitrous motor. Ought to do really well on small tires. If not, whoop, whoop. Let me see what I can do here. See if I can shoot the video through the hood. We're fixing to fit button the car up. There's a whole bunch of these cars that, that, uh, you guys already know what the pro what the issue I have with this one is. I get up in my feelings over money, and I can't work on it. I got a, uh, there for about a week. I got inspired and did the interior and did the panels and stuff like that. And then John come over and kind of took it over. So the Monty Smith car is really, really close to being done. And the other thing you guys don't think about, fucking MPK. When I'm doing MPK, I don't have time to do jack shit. And see where that see where that thing's at. It's about time to get that back up. We gotta be at Tulsa this week. Starting back into it. So, Monty Smith Memorial Car, it's not gone and it's not forgotten. And by the way, yes, it is for sale. The only thing I have to do with this car is I have to do. Rocky Mountain Race Week with it in, uh, in, in memory of Monty. But after that, I will sell this car because honestly, it just hurts too much to own it. I miss my boy. I miss him every day. But I'm not going to be able to function well with the car because I'm going to think about him every time I get in this car. And that's not a bad thing. Other than the fact that it throws me in a state of depression, and I really don't want to go there. We actually put it on the scales the other day. The car's not quite as heavy as I thought. With a with a driver, well, we'll use one of my guys that's uh, about my weight, and it came out 30, 32 and some change, which is not as bad as I thought. So race ready, it'd be thirty four hundred pounds. It's just got plenty of motor to push this bitch. Well, there you guys go. Monty Smith Memorial car that you guys all think I quit on. 
and I, I really didn't quit, but Johns came over and, and kind of picked up the ball and running with it. So really soon we'll have this thing on the hub dyno, which will make Allison at Dynacom very, very happy. And we'll be making some pulls and see what kind of power that motor actually makes, which I already know, but I think you guys are gonna be amazed at the motor that, that the power that motor makes. That's the original motor, but that's the five inch motor when I changed the car over uh, um, from a 632. That's actually the motor that, that we set the world on fire at Radio versus the world. That's when we ran three kits and Reaper went 408, something like that. Uh, we'll see. And yeah, I'm starting to get up in my feelings, so I'm ending this video.